Hey, what's going on guys? The Horror Man back with my review of The Greasy Strangler. First of all, I have to ask the question. What the hell did I just watch? I don't even know what to compare it to. I've heard others compare it to a John Waters film, but even that doesn't do it justice. The Greasy Strangler is a 2016 extremely bizarre romantic comedy slasher film, I guess. It's absolutely insane. Big Ronnie and his son Big Braden run a business guiding disco walking tours. Big Ronnie is also obsessed with eating all of his food with copious amounts of oil grease. In fact, he's so obsessed with grease that he lathers his entire body in it from head to toe and goes out at night killing victims as the Greasy Strangler. He admits to being the Greasy Strangler to Big Braden, but his son doesn't believe him. One day while giving a tour, the two men meet a woman named Janet to whom Big Braden is immediately attracted. They begin dating, and the two seem very compatible. But before long, Big Ronnie also finds himself attracted to Janet, and it becomes a love triangle between her, father, and son. Meanwhile, the body count rises for the Greasy Strangler, as he continues to stalk and kill his victims each night. I don't want to spoil anything else about the film, so here are my thoughts. I still have no idea what the hell I just watched. I can tell you one thing though, this is going to stick with me for a long time. This movie was brilliant. It's not for everyone though, and I can actually see people being disgusted by this film. For one thing, the greasy food scenes are absolutely appalling. It's just so over the top, as is a lot about this film. There is also a lot of nudity. Granted, prosthetics were used for the male nude scenes, but it's still right in your face. There is even a close-up shot of Janet's butthole, among other things. The Greasy Strangler was almost like a form of art. I found myself laughing out loud over and over again. Sometimes it was because what was happening on screen was downright funny. Other times it was an uncontrollable laughter from awkwardness. It was like my mind's defense mechanism was kicking into play because of what was on screen. Not just the visuals either. Sometimes it was the dialogue. There is a lot of repetition. Sometimes certain things were repeated over and over so many times you couldn't do anything but just laugh. It was like a subconscious or even unconscious laughter. I don't know how to explain it any better than that. The acting was absolutely fantastic. Michael St. Michaels, who played Big Ronnie and the Greasy Strangler, was so good. Sky Elabar, who played Big Braden, was great as well. And Elizabeth Durazzo took on the role of Janet like a champ. My god, all three of them were good. Even the side characters were spot on and hilarious. The Greasy Strangler kills were actually quite brutal. One victim has his face punched completely inside out. Another victim has his head sawed off after being strangled, and other victims are strangled so tightly their eyes pop out. And the entire time, the greasy strangler is covered in grease. Each night when he's done murdering his victims, he takes a walk through the car wash. That's how he gets the grease off. If all of this sounds wacky to you, that's because it is. Wacky doesn't even begin to describe it. But within all of that wackiness is a brilliance. I loved The Greasy Strangler. Loved it, loved it, loved it. There's some repetition for you. I want to give a huge shout out to my buddy Brian, and Ready here on YouTube. He reviewed this movie for the Slashback Challenge last year, and I've wanted to see it ever since. I'm so glad I picked up a copy. So tell me, have you seen The Greasy Strangler? If so, what do you think of it? Comment below and let me know. Thanks for watching, guys. Be kind, subscribe.